Hi Pisces, welcome to your July 2022 Tarot Monthly. Hope you have been well. Welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Now in today's reading, I'm gonna get a little bit nosy on ya. I'm gonna look at your romantic love life, yes, but also career, money, and what spirit wants you to focus on throughout the entire month. I've already pre-shuffled. I'm just giving it a few more ghosts for you on camera so you feel more connected to your reading. And for those of you who collect tarot decks, this is the new Tarot of Dragons. It came out in, July, in the month of June. Really cool artwork. I will show you close-ups. So let's do this. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Pisces for the entire month of July 2022 in romantic love, career, money, spiritual development? What do you want me to share with Pisces right now? The Piscians that clicked on this video, please pull in their energy for me. July 2022, Pisces. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful Piscians. Okay, so let's first, whoa, slippery new cards. Let's first look at your challenge in July. We had the Empress, which is Taurus and Libra energy. Now, when the Empress shows up in the challenge position, you may be feeling like something you have been nurturing and tending to is not growing the way that you had hoped. Because the, the Empress is the number three, and the three is all about creation, okay, and, and inception. So the Empress, wherever you plant seeds, there's abundance, right? But when it's in the challenge position, you may be feeling like you're watering a dead plant. Okay, giving all your time and energy and you're just not seeing the growth, whether this is pertaining to your career, a business opportunity, a relationship, friendship, love, we'll see. We will see. What's your energy in July? We have the Three of Cups, so somebody's bringing you a lot of excitement. All right, the Three of Cups is celebration with friends, family members, a romantic love. Okay, and I'm getting the number three again. So some of you guys could be life path number threes or master life path numbers three, three. Okay, what's your focus? Eight of Swords. So with the Eight of Swords being your focus, I feel like someone here is overthinking something. Okay, because the Eight of Swords is that time where we plant one little negative thought into our head and it begins to ruminate, ruminate to the point where we take one negative situation and blow it possibly out of proportion or um, read too much into a situation, okay? For example, if there's someone that you're dating and talking to and you're getting worried that they don't want the same things as you, they don't want to nurture the relationship like you, you may be, you know, getting in your head a bit, like, you know, questioning their intentions, motives, things like that. But with you being a Pisces, you're very intuitive. So I kind of feel like if your intuition is telling you that someone is not wanting to uh, support the connection the way that you are, follow your intuition, all right? But something is keeping you in your head with that Eight of Swords. It's leaving you feeling like you're trapped, tied and bound to something, okay? We'll see what's going on. Who are the people in your life in July? The Five of Pentacles, there's somebody in your life that you may be leaving out in the cold in July, whether it's just you telling this person you need some space to think about things, or you feel like this person hasn't been supporting the relationship the way that you have been, or this is um, somebody in your life in July that may be asking you for a financial handout, and you may be kind of in your head about what to do. Maybe you're looking over at your own finances, trying to see if you can, you know, be helpful, okay? And you may feel like now's not the time. What does Spirit want you to focus on in July? The Page of Wands. They want you to focus on the fact that they are sending you some amazing news. Because the Page of Wands is that, that communication you get that puts you in a, like, a peppy energy. Have you ever seen the, the show Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Do you know how when Carlton does the Carlton dance, this communication that comes in will put you in that excited energy where you just bust out and just do some cre crazy ass dance. <laughs> and if you don't know what the Carlton dance is, Google it, trust me, you'll laugh. But their spirits wanting you to focus on the fact that they're sending you some good news or a new opportunity that's gonna jazz you up. It's gonna jazz you up. And it's gonna give you that surge of energy you need to, um, see some more growth in your life. 
All right, I feel like the Empress, when she shows up in a reading, she is meant to thrive. She's meant to grow. She's meant to have a lot of happiness. So if you feel like someone or something is not growing with you, Spirit is sending you something because you're meant for it. The Empress is always meant for having abundance. Okay, you're meant for it. What's going on with your romantic love life? I'm going to pull two cards. We have the Four of Swords. Okay. And we have the Ace of Swords. Pisces, I strongly feel like in the month of July, you're going to um, pull back your energy from a love interest to gain a better understanding about what you should do next. Because the Ace of Swords is that energy of getting that mental clarity. And the Four of Swords needs to take place in order to get that clarity. Because when you look at this card, you see how in this card, art depiction there's three swords hovering above your body picture this you the little dragon you got three swords hovering above your body and then there's this one sword that's underneath your sleeping body the three of swords is all about heartache and despair and disappointment feeling like something is not working out with how you want it to and that sword down here is the ace of swords getting that that clarity that breakthrough to have a new start for yourself and whatever that means for you and it came out together it came out together. So in July, Pisces, you're going to have a major mental breakthrough that's going to put you on the path of success. Again, whether financially, emotionally, spiritually, you know, mentally, I don't know, but it's good. It's all about new ideas too. So you've got a lot of, a lot of things to be celebratory about with that Three of Cups and with Spirit co-signing the fact that they're sending you some good news, that's, that explains why you're going to meet in that Three of Cups. And this is Cancer energy and this is Leo energy. So I feel like at the start of Cancer season, moving towards the end of Cancer season, you're going to feel this beautiful energy take over your body like something amazing is about to take place. Then at the start of Leo season, which is at the end of the month of July, that's when you get the firm you know, indication that you're ready to take off and have a lot of excitement in your life, okay? So the third to fourth week of July, you're gonna see some movement in the best way possible. And I just got every hair sticking up doing the Macarena right now when I said that. All right, so let's take a look at your career and money. Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles, nice. I like that, that's my favorite card to see in, in a money spread. And then I got the Nine of Swords. So, some of you guys may be stressing about your money because you may be putting in a lot of time, effort, and tears into making more uh, financial investments for yourself that benefit you or putting a lot of effort into a business opportunity and you may be feeling like you're not getting the payout right now. And that could be why the Empress is in the challenge position. You may be tending to a business, tending to a work opportunity, and you feel like it's not growing. Or you may feel like you're burning the end of two candles, or burning the end of a candle, you know what I mean. Something is stressing you out, but they're showing me that money is going to be, you know, improving for you. And that could be the good news that you're getting with that page of wands that they want you to focus on. They want you to stay positive, Pisces. They want you to stay positive because the moment you get into this low vibrational energy, you just attract more of that low vibrational energy in return. And that's what I said with the Eight of Swords. The moment one negative thought is planted in your head, it ruminates and ruminates and builds into a panic attack. All right, and I've had some doozies with panic attacks and they're not, no bueno. So this Eight of Swords is my daytime anxiety card and the Nine of Swords is my late night can't sleep anxiety card. And you got the both of them. Something is really stressing you out at the start of July, but they want you to focus on what they're sending you. They're protecting you. They're not gonna let you falter. They're not here to watch you suffer, Pisces. They just know something is still needing to be worked on behind the scenes and they're getting it ready for you. They're getting it prepared for you, okay? Whatever that is. I don't know if that's a love offer. I don't know if that's a financial opportunity. I don't know if that's you getting something unexpected that really cheers you up. They're sending it to you and they don't want you to get caught up in the Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords energy because a lot of us can get stuck in that for a long time. I've been this before and oh my goodness, it left me feeling really blah and so unmotivated, pessimistic, losing hope that things are gonna work out. 
okay? A fresh mindset, a fresh perspective on things can spin it around big time. Spin it around big time. But I do see you kind of abandoning something or someone with that five of pentacles or giving up investing in a business idea and going in a new direction with that nine of pentacles. What's your advice? Nine of wands. Your advice is to not give up. You're on the final stretch. You're on the final stretch. They're sending you something very soon that's going to give you a burst of newfound energy. Because the nine of wands is that energy of feeling defeated, feeling like you're going uphill in roller skates. You take a couple steps forward and you take even more back and just feeling like you're exerting all that energy for nothing. So some of you guys may be feeling like you're exerting a lot of energy into a relationship and not getting shit out of it. Or you're exerting a lot of energy into something more personal for you and you don't feel like you're getting your gains. Some of you guys, it, it might even just correlate to some of you guys trying to work on your body with the Empress energy, lose weight, get fit, and you may feel like the scale isn't budging. First of all, don't look at the scale. Judge it by how your clothes feel on you. Anywho, I digress. But they're saying that you're at the home stretch. You are at the home stretch and this page of wands energy is going to be that oomph that you need to keep it going until you get to that finish line. Think of the nine of wands similar to how, you know, all right, think of the nine of wands card as a 5k runner. They're running a 5k and just when they're about to reach that finish line, their legs are starting to feel, you know, like jelly, like jello, and they can't take another step. But then something takes over, that little bit of extra confidence, that extra bit of strength that they are willing to pull out of, their, out of them and it gets them to where they need to go, okay? Someone needs that little bit of inner strength left to push forward a, a difficult time in their life. They're saying to not give up Pisces. They see what's in store for you and they know how happy it's gonna make you and that's why they don't want you to get lost in your negative thoughts, okay? We've all been there. We've all been there, okay? You're amongst the right people, Pisces. We've all been there, okay? I was this for the first three weeks of June when I lost my family member and then got really, really sick. Been there. We've all been there. What's the overall energy? Justice, getting good karma, getting what you deserve, having the day you deserve, telling other people who may have hurt you or didn't show you that they cared about you the way that you showed them, you may be telling them, I hope you have the day that you deserve, okay? So if someone hasn't been supportive to you, you're putting yourself first, okay? Ooh, the Page of Pentacles is coming through and the Three of Wands. Yo, some of you guys are getting some sort of really cool opportunity. And this is a side note. If there's a Pisces out there that filled out a application for a job, you may be getting called in for the second interview. You may have had the first interview, which may have been like on a Zoom meeting, and then the second interview is gonna be in person. All right, because the Page of Wands feels like a Zoom meeting where it's like fast communication over the airways via email, FaceTime, Zoom, and the Pentacle feels like physical, so in the physical. Okay, that's a side note for somebody because I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles as someone's outcome and career. That's financial um, independence. Um, but someone just needed to be patient. Someone may have needed more um, information off of you. So I'm gonna clarify a couple cards, just a couple, and then I'm gonna pull some tea leaf oracle cards. These are freaky deaky accurate, okay? So please stick around for it. Um, I just wanna get a card on this love situation. Why that four of swords, ace of swords? Why that four of swords, ace of swords? Some of you guys could be single parents and you're taking really good care of your kids and they love you. Nine of wands and the five of wands, yeah. Whatever's going on in your love life, I feel like you're, you're feeling like you just need to like pull back for a bit in the month of July and really look back on things, okay? But there's a, a part of you that really still wants to fight the good fight with that nine of wands and work on your relationship with this person, but only if they meet you in the middle. Somebody here has to help meet you in the middle because there's not an I in relationships. Well, there is an I in the ships part. Anyway, I just made myself look stupid. Anyway, you know what I meant. <laughs> there, it takes two for a healthy relationship. Can I get a card on that Empress? The Nine of Pentacles, look at that. So for some of you, what you have been nurturing in regards to your money and career, you may feel like it hasn't really been growing quick enough. Well. 
the Nine of Pentacles is telling me that it will. But Earth energy moves slow. Slow. Rich people like the long-term gains versus the short-term gains. Okay? You want something that's going to last. What is this page of wands? What is this page of wands? Emperor and the King of Wands. Some of you guys are becoming entrepreneurs. And for others, you're getting good news from a boss or, or a position of authority. Okay, and for others, you might be getting um, someone very attractive, giving you a lot of attention and wanting to see you. Okay, w regardless, whatever it is, is going to put a positive pep in your step. You're going to feel really good. Okay, what is this Three of Cups? Ace of Swords and the Sun. Look at that. And remember how I said at the start of cancer season, moving towards the end of cancer season, something is going to happen that's going to make you feel good. And then at the start of Leo season, you're going to you're going to exactly know what everything's going on, what everything's happening around you. And there's that Ace of Swords, that clarity you needed. So let's pull some tea leaves. Now, if you look in the book of private reading Pisces, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below with this video. I also invite you to join my new YouTube membership. The join button is right next to the subscribe button. I pull cards for members in the live stream every Saturday. Okay, so if you can't afford a personal reading, that is your best option. Okay, so on the bottom I have horse, a short journey. And that kind of feels like that nine of wands energy. So they're saying that the journey is short. All right, so you're at your home stretch. Um, I get man. Dealings or relationship involving a man is going to be very important to you in July. He doesn't have to look like this. Heartache over what you no longer have. All right, this could be you abandoning something and still being sad about it, even though you're the one that's, you know, abandoning it. Jug, lighthearted, carefree time. This is my Three of Cups, so you got it twice. And hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally okay so take good care of you Pisces you're always taking care of other people you are the king of cups you're always taking care of others but this time take care of yourself first and foremost and everything else will work out around it all right so I hope this reading helped I love you Pisces please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl take care